Hello, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I have another exciting storing photo cards video. I am going to be completing two collections today, I think. I'm completing my GOT7 OT7, like, Korean photo cards. All my OT7 sets are going to be done today. Crazy. I'm also completing my Stacy collection, I think. And then I just have some other miscellaneous cards to store. And I've mixed up some of my binders so you can see the new layouts. It's going to be so great. First, though, I am going to be expanding one of my current collections. I've already been posting about it on Instagram. And, like, let's be honest, we all saw it coming. <laughs> I'm going to be collecting two more members of EXO. I currently store my EXO collection in this little A5 binder. So how I've decided to expand my collection is collect my top four because that would fit really nice and I want to collect more members of EXO, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> the two other members I'm going to be collecting are Min Seok and Chan -yeol. Um, I love them so much. I'm going to set this up kind of similarly to how I set up my GOT7 OT7 collection when I started expanding that, where I expanded the collection as I had more cards so i didn't set up a bunch of blank pages to begin with i kind of set it up as i go so that is what i'm gonna do i have a stack of exo cards today all of the channel and minsoc cards in this video were gifted to me by beck honeys on youtube and i was literally screaming and crying i cannot believe it beck honeys number one exo collector my favorite exo collector some of these pcs are very special because they came from awa so yeah i also got gifted this and i love it so that's what's gonna be the cover for now i might replace these mini binders as well but i honestly really like that they have no text on them the first card i have is for exodus yes okay so i'm gonna separate these by korean and chinese press i don't have proper fillers made but these will have to do okay i still want to store jimin first like Hello. <laughs> yeah, I want to store him in the first spot because he's the leader, even though Minsuk is older. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Incredible. Okay, the first era set up for collecting four members. How cute. Okay, the next era is Lotto, I believe. Okay, so I don't have any of the other press. I'm not gonna set up for that page yet. I'm just going to remove these fillers and put Chanyo there. Cute, very cute. Okay, I have the final Suo Coco Bob card today. And is that it like, uh, hello? <laughs> Someone DM'd me offering to sell me this card and I've never moved faster in my whole entire life. Like, I love this card. <laughs> I'm just gonna complete this page for now. Wow, so gorge. Like one of the best cards ever. I literally can't believe it. <laughs> I have one tempo card to set up for. So that's these two cards. Correct? Yes. Okay. I guess I can leave my Sehun filler in. It's not gonna hurt anybody. <laughs> I have a lot of these Ultra Pro pages made. I just don't have very many with the... Or I have a lot of them cut out. I just don't have a lot with the holes punched in them. And I'm very lazy with doing that. So one of these days I'm just gonna have to like sit down and punch a bunch of holes in photo card sleeves because I will need them. <laughs> Okay, that's one tempo page. And then I think I have just a bunch of obsession cards next. Yes. Screaming and crying, throwing up, head and hands. This is like my favorite card. Like ever. <laughs> like easily my favorite schedule card. I just think it's so cute. Oh, I could cry. <laughs> These two cards are from the same set. I haven't decided if I want to make fillers for Jumin swap because he wasn't in Obsession and then I'll do the same thing for Jumin for Don't Bite the Feeling. But I haven't 100% made my mind up there yet, but wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't have any cards for this set, which I actually think should go after the first one, but I'm not gonna move that yet. <laughs> I have these two, which are from the same version. 
And then I also have this one random lonely Chenyo card <laughs> who will sit back here by himself. Okay, so that's the obsession setup for right now. A little messy, but I have some cards for Don't Fight the Feeling. So for the first page of Don't Fight the Feeling cards, I have these Sehun and Chenyo cards. Okay. I have these two. Super cute, oh my God. <laughs> these cards are like truly, truly some of their best. And then I also have these two final cards for this page. So those are all the new exo cards i have to store away today i do have these two still and i don't have enough pages to fully set up for either of these yet so i will just put these in here and then set up for them later so that's my chunky exo collection now i am gonna have to get another binder because this one's like probably about maxed out but yeah that is all for the exo part of the video today let's do my girl group and boy group binders next. I lied, let's do my Stacy collection next. I am so excited. <laughs> I just love them so much. These final two Yoon cards have honestly been like quite the time coming. This is the first one. Oh my God, stereotype is done and it's gorgeous. And then this is the jewel case card. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. So my Stacy collection is complete. I'm over the moon. Wow. So gorge. Okay, now let's do my girl group and boy group binders. Let's do the boy group binder first. I have a single Hyunjin card actually. This is the single ATBO card I have today. This is Dear My Muse 1, I believe. Another complete page, yay! Okay, cute. <laughs> I'm gonna set up for the next era soon. I just need to take a better look at the inclusions and decide how I wanna set it up. So yeah, that's coming soon. The final Hechon card I need is on the way. So I'm complete with him. Crazy. <laughs> oh, I reorganized some Stray Kids stuff again. Oh, okay. Well, I okay, I didn't do much, <laughs> basically. I put Sungman's IMU Limited in the middle of this page because I couldn't find anywhere else to put it. And then I put the limited cards for Miro and the Levanter Lenti, just on Sungmin's page, because they do go with the eras. And then I moved the Pobs to be after the album that it's closest to. So like, those are my no, uh, nope, go live and in life Pobs. These are my no easy Pobs. Christmas Evil and ordinary i finally look who showed up never i really never thought this would happen he finally showed up <laughs> i joined a group order for this and then it was like just not a great time trying to get him in my hands so when he just showed up unannounced i was over the moon so this is his sub k jewel case card i'm gonna store it here so I kind of have my non-selfies in the middle and then my selfies on the side for this era. And they look great. Okay, I reorganized this page. So they announced the case version. Blinks. <laughs> um, so that's what's gonna go in these two spots. And then I'm gonna consider the Polaroids that I was originally considering as album cards. Pobs, because they're technically, well, they're kind of album conclusions, I guess, but not really. I have the final Singman regular album card. Cute. Okay. And then I have this version, Jisung card, which I believe goes here. It's this card's opposite. Yeah. And then I have his Barnes and Noble card. Should I put this in upside down? Oh my god. <laughs> and then these are all the other cards that i have purchased yeah so those are all on the way i guess i'm done collecting for this era that's totally fine i was gonna try and find a spot to put this but i might just put it back 
on Ji Sung's page. I have these two. So they're gonna go back here for Ji Sung. I also do want Ji Sung's Barnes and Noble card. I have Minos, I believe. I just haven't put it up for trade yet. So I will be doing that. Oh my God, the face sticker looks so funny. Wow. <laughs> I guess I'll just put Sungmin's here for now. Okay, cute. So that is my little Maxident setup. Love this album. Cannot wait to get my hands on all these cards. The case version cards are quite cute and Sigmund's like pre-order benefit for that version from JYP, I believe, is also super cute. Let's do my Gargut Binder next. I have another Pixie card on the way from a trade. It's one of these versions. So incredible. I just cannot find these, which is very unfortunate, but it's whatever. I have two more cards for this page. So I have Suyin Zenti. So this set is done. Gorgeous. And then I have this Lily card. Yeah, it's incredible. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I did. Okay, so I'm kind of deciding how I want to collect Luminous from Luna. The limited cards are gonna be obnoxious to try and get. So I think I've just, Ed, like I've come to terms with the fact that I'm probably never gonna collect them. I think I'm just missing, what are you? Oh my God, Miles, do you love Luna? Oh, he's getting on the seat with me. Oh, okay. You wanna look at Luna? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just starts purring loudly. I think I'm just gonna pretend the limited versions don't exist. I think I'm only missing Vivi's regular version and Yojin's Orbit Japan version, but I think I found both of those. I just haven't bought them yet. So I think that's how I'm gonna set up for Luminous. I was thinking about doing each version as a row and kind of do it as a spread, like how I have all their other areas set up, but they're like expensive. The limited version cards are expensive. So yeah, that's how I set it up. I also got three more trading cards from their most recent concert because oh my god, oh my god. Hustle has like a happy birthday crown on, screaming and crying. Yojin's like making a little barrier and Vivi <laughs> sniffles. <laughs> Vivi looks so cute. Yeah, I downsized some more of my Luna stuff. Um, kept all the units and kept my special Vivi page, but I had some other random cards that I just didn't really want. Anyway, love Luna. Love Luna so much. Very excited to get my Luminous cards in. And yeah, I have some Woods cards and I reorganized my Woods binder. That was actually my like most recent project. So let me get that one. So I wanted to try and make room in this binder, which like barely work. To say I made room is a little bit of a stretch, but I, I got this. I got this and I love it. <laughs> Um, I have his birthday merch to put away today. I just have him like here in this because I always think it's so cute when collectors have these. And yeah, I, yeah, that's card is adorable. So, okay. It didn't really change album photo card wise, but the biggest change is that I put everything in chronological order, including my non-album stuff, or at least attempted to. And then I attempted to condense some of my pop pages. So these are all the regular... Or this is the end of the equal regular album cards. And then this is all non-album stuff. Yep. Whoops, it's basically the same. But this is my pod page now. These are his first fan club cards. And then we have his first season's greetings, which, yeah, you know that. This is the end of season's greetings. These are his light stick cards. And then we have set, which, Probably changed the least, I guess. Yeah, okay. This was his birthday merch last year, or this is what I collected of his birthday merch last year. Only lovers left. This is my first page of, page of pobs, and this is my second page of pobs for only lovers left. His Visible City, yeah, Visible City concert, and his most recent season's greetings. And then Colorful Trauma, you know where you love her. This is how I set up the Jewel Case cards. I think I'm content with having four. The other two are impossible to find. And then these are the pobs I collected. 
So I have a page in here because I have his birthday merch cards that I got for this year. I didn't get everything. I got the photo card set and I got the photo card little holder thing, but the cards are super duper cute. And some of them came with these little frames. So yeah, love that. How am I gonna set these up? There's nine cards. Mm. These little like clear card filter things are so cute. <laughs> like, I don't know, they're kind of corny and will probably not stay in place, but I really think they're adorable. <laughs> And then the final two cards like these. Cute! Okay, I guess I should move this one to the middle because the back is different. Okay, cool. So these are all my Woods birthday merch cards from this past year for his birthday. And then whatever he does next will go back here. I wanted to try and save some space by condensing and I also downsized like three single cards, so nothing crazy there. <laughs> but the intention was to make room so that I wouldn't have to replace this binder anytime soon, but I that didn't go very well. So <laughs> the jury's still out on if I'm gonna get a bigger woods binder or just a second woods binder, I don't really know. Let's move on. I have the final GOT7 OT7 card to put away and then also some bonus little GOT7 cards. So let's do that. So as my other GOT7 binder is completely, well, complete, this is the binder that had the last cards I needed in it, or I was missing in it. And the final GOT7 card I'm missing. He's finally home. <laughs> Of course, the last GOT7 card I needed was a Yu-Gi-Oh! and he's the member I've been collecting the longest. It's sick and twisted. Um, but now my GOT7 OT7 photo card collection is complete. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Yay! Wow! Love them, love them, love them. Okay. I did get their FanCon merch photo card set. I was not going to buy it, and I did not buy it when the when like they first dropped. But I saw the photo cards like probably about a month ago now, and I was like, oh, I need those. So <laughs> yeah, I did buy the set. I found someone selling the full set secondhand, so that was you know that was a pretty huge W. And yeah, I figured this would be fun just to store. Oh wait today, because the cards are so fucking cute. Like, okay, they're so cute. <laughs> and we didn't really get any album cards in these fits, and I think that's criminal. This Jackson card, this was the whole reason I wanted to buy this set. If we're being honest, I really just wanted this Jackson card. But look how cute they are. Oh my God. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, they also did concept photos, which, I mean, some of these are iconic. Like, hello. With the gummy bears, are you serious? Another pointing at you card. Got seven are so consistent. Aye, aye. Okay. It says Agase. Love him. <laughs> And then Yugi and Bam Bam just look like, just look happy to be there. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. Yay. I really have been wanting to put these. Oh my God, there's a cat hair. I'm sorry, Jin Young. <laughs> I've been wanting to put these cards away for so long. And I think they're so cute. Ah, oh, what a joy. Okay, that is all for today's video. Can't believe we're done with GOT7, but... I expand my EXO collection, so that will be another project that will, I'm sure, take another really long year and a half of collecting like this OT7 collection did. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>